everyone is Nisha. Happy New Year. I hope you all had a wonderful time. I did. <laughs> we went um, just to our friends um, and we stayed overnight there. And one lesson to be learned is when you've had a few glasses of champagne, never take into social media. So I've decided just before midnight to scope on Periscope. <laughs> oh, what a disaster. I don't even know. I've deleted the, the broadcast since. Not that there was anything terrible on it, you know. I was just showing um, the fireworks and the Big Ben counting down, but I was so loud. <laughs> I was screaming Happy New Year and then uh, trying to flip the screen on myself, poking at it, then when it was on me, poking at it to turn around. So if any of you have seen it, um, I suppose it was funny. But yes, um, shouldn't really do that. <laughs> so yes, I did have a few glasses of champagne. We went to bed about two o'clock in the morning and unfortunately I can't do late nights like this anymore. So New Year's Day, I spent all day on the sofa, just, I didn't feel ill or anything, just really, really tired. Uh, then this weekend, just gone for the two days, we've been clearing out all the Christmas decorations, taking everything down. It looks so sad and empty now, uh, but I wanted to get rid of it all now and I cleaned everywhere downstairs so I was pretty pooped. Um, so yeah, it's a new year, new start. I don't have um, many things to show you because as you probably noticed I haven't been buying many things. I don't know, I haven't been really... Uh, what's the word? Excited about anything. I've, I've seen all these new holiday palettes and all new stuff coming out and I thought it's just like this, you have to have it, you have to have it because it's holiday, um, have to have the newest palette and I thought I've got so many palettes, you know, I'm trying to um, use some up. So I haven't been buying many things, I bought a few things. Um, I wanted to tell you about the... You know, I really like the Rimmel, it was in my November favourites, I think, the Oh My Gloss. And the one that I had was called Per, per My Glossy Cat. So when I was out the other day, I thought I'd try some other ones. And I got this one, which is on my lips. It's a bit more mauve I would say. Um, it's, it's very glossy. They are so glossy. I think they have... Um, um, argan oil in them yes and so soft and creamy not sticky at all I really really love them so this one is my eternity and I'm, I'm wearing it on its own today just with um, Urban Decay um, lip liner so it doesn't have much color um, but it is more mauve but can you see how glossy it is it's beautiful and I really really like them I could like keep putting it on all day. It has slight perfumey smell, but not not too strong. I, I also really like the applicator. It's just a dull food applicator, but as you can see, it's sort of flattened. Um, so that's really nice. And also, I have bought uh, some eyelashes. I thought I'd try these. I think I had. Karen first talking about it, Karen from Mrs. Ginger's beauty channel, um, is the Isla Fleur de Force, you know she's this um, huge blogger here on YouTube, and these are three quarter length lashes, I can't show you the lashes because I'm wearing them, but they are so lovely, They're, they are quite natural and they are three quarters, which means, you know, most lashes, as the band is so long, you have to trim it anyway. And then they usually, some well, usually sometimes too long in a, in a corner, so they don't look very natural. These, right, where do they start? They start about here. And 
they are quite wispy and natural looking and they get longer towards the end and I love them. I must say I love them for every day. I was looking for something more natural because as you know I use um, eyelash growth serum um, and I forgot now what it is. I go and get it. There it is, the Fisico. I've talked about it before. I might even have reviewed it. It is quite expensive. I think it is around $100 or so maybe just over $100. But I think if you want a good eyelash serum, you have to pay the money. And I've had this at least six months and I still have loads in there. So I really think it's worth the, worth the money and if I finish it, I'll buy it again because I really like it. You've seen probably my lashes um, when I've been using it. But what happens when you use those serums? You know our lashes constantly uh, fall out and new ones grow in um, and your lashes sometimes look a bit sparse then look a bit better. That's just the normal growth cycle of eyelashes. But what happens, especially as you're getting older, your eyelashes are a bit weaker and when they grow, they never reach their um, maximum potential length. They fall out before that. So you don't see the difference because you've got these short stubby eyelashes that are always there. But what this does is strengthens them and makes them grow stronger before they grow to their potential maximum length and then they fall out and in that cycle I would say I don't know maybe every three to four months maybe four months suddenly when they've reached all this maximum length few will fall out at the same time and that's what's just happened to me and I'm not panicking about it because I know it is normal um, and I have quite a big gap in um, this eye between my eyelashes and few here. But I can see the new ones already growing. So I know that it, it will take probably two to three weeks for them to start looking really thick and long again. So um, I don't wear them every day, but if I am going out somewhere because my eyelashes are looking a bit sparse now, um, I like to put the false lashes and these are amazing they are so easy to apply the band is just lovely curved in so i had no problem with applying them and because they are a bit shorter you don't have that problem or where do i start you know so i would strongly recommend these um especially for those of you who like the more natural eyelash look they are beautiful i don't know if she does any other um eyelashes uh, but these are really good. I wish I could show you um, what they look like, but I'm not going to peel them off. But they are beautiful. Another thing I wanted to talk to you about is this little thing, which is the Ole Henriksen Power Peel. And this is like a three-step... Um, three-step... What? <laughs> Professional spa grade micro microdermabrasion and acid peel system. I loved it. So this was like a sample, I think. And um, I don't know how many times did uh, this last to me, because I've used it a while ago, but I always forgot to tell you about it. Um, and I just found the package because I want to buy it again. So, you know, I'm very much uh, into exfoliating especially the chemical type not just with the beads you know but with the um, fruit acids or the microderma I can never say it microdermabrasion um, and acid peels uh, because um, I've done a video about those you know um, they work on a bit of a deeper level and they dissolve the glue that holds the old skin cells to your new ones so and that was so lovely it is honestly you get these three sachets and the first one is like an almond polish so it's not very deep it's just a gentle polish then you go get the lemon strip so that's where you've got the acid peel and then you have like a 
comforting cream to put um, afterwards it was really good I would strongly recommend to you to try it because you know I always say I'm not really into retin-a I watch um, everybody on here well not everybody but people who use it and I do think their skins look nice but I come I've started retin-a at some point but I think I went a bit too quick with it and I was peeling like an old lizard and I couldn't I couldn't stand it because you know your foundation looks just awful like sticking to dry patches of of skin maybe I will try at some point because I tell you what what I am unhappy the most with is my forehead I mean I've got so many lines but the skin around here you know it's not smooth is that almost like orangey elephant skin <laughs> I would say I really hate it um, so I would like to smooth that out and maybe I, I could start using Retin-A on my forehead but I would have to go at it very slowly like Angie from Hot and Flash she said you know she took a year to build up the frequency of in which she was using the retin-a i think at first she was using it just once a week for a few weeks you know but i'm a bit impatient like that i want to see results really quickly so i don't know if you know of any great treatment that transforms your elephant forehead skin into small skin let me know i've got some exciting news so i have been um Featured, featured twice on this blog, um, Aesthetica blog, and I will leave you, um, I will leave you a comment, not comment, I will leave you the link to those articles. Um, there was one article about me and the hooded eyes videos, and then there is a short interview with me, so I felt quite, um, privilege to be featured on that because one of the features on that blog every Friday is called um, TG I F TG I F yes this girl is fab so I feel very privileged to be featured on that so I will leave you the link you can um, go and have a read about that Another exciting news I've got is that my brother, my half-brother, you know, who I re reunited with um, and this summer just gone, is coming to visit me. So uh, he's, he's coming here, so I'm going to be busy again, but it will be fab. Um, we're going to be cooking and talking and doing all that good stuff. I'm feeling a bit better, I don't feel down um, anymore, but now I feel like I'm coming down with a cold or something, my throat is a bit sore, I feel like I'm getting a runny nose and I really don't want it, I, I touch wood, I haven't had a cold for years um, and I put that down to eating copious amounts of blueberries, um, I am obsessed with blueberries, I can eat whole panet at one sitting and or I eat it with um, natural yogurt and a bit of honey in it. I just love, love blueberries. They're like my favorite fruit, I think. So, and obviously they are very high in antioxidants and um, vitamin C. So I really put it down to that because I don't take any uh, vitamin supplements apart from the vitamin D3, which I've talked to you about, but I think it's eating the blueberries. So, but I'm coming down with something. I don't know if it's because Max um, just uh, came, came down with a bit of cold. He gets colds all the time, but I think this is because being at school, you know, you're with so many people, you're bound to always bring something back. So, yeah, I'm just feeling a bit, uh, not ill, you know, just like the common cold uh, that, that you get. And also I hate my hair, that's why I've got my fringe swept that way because when I have my usual um, parting, my roots are enormous. Um, I mean, they are quite big now, look. But um, hopefully I will have them done on Wednesday or Friday. So can't wait because 
I supposed to have my hair done before Christmas, but I was so busy and to be honest, my roots didn't look that bad. So I thought I leave it, leave it. And I always do that. I thought, oh, they're fine. And then two weeks later, they look so bad that I'm like, oh, I need my hair done. So, but that's going to be done soon. Um, what I'm going to do is, um, I probably will video after this, my 2015 best products of 2015. Uh, because I have a few. Um, um, I think I have another video coming this week. Um, and then, oh, remember the giveaway. So the giveaway closes on Sunday, this Sunday coming, and I will announce the winner on Monday. Um, I've, I just wanted to tell you how I'm going to choose the winner. Um, I'm going to put it in one of those websites, you know, that choose random win winner w winners. I don't want to say winner <laughs> um, because, you know, some of you said, oh, I hope you choose me and all that. I don't want to do that. I want to make it really fair. So there, there is this um, website that's got this app that you, you just enter the video and it generates all the comments and then randomly chooses the winner so that's what i'm gonna do just to clear it out so you don't think that i'm being biased and i'm choosing someone you know um yeah so that's what i'm going to do so that's it for today happy new year again let's have an amazing year even better than the last one thank you very much for watching and i see you soon bye